Hey, I hope all is awesome with you today and you're having a beautiful, blessed day. Today, I want to come and share with you my sermon notes um, from this past weekend. This past weekend, we continued our sermon series on um, the Where is God series. And this past weekend, we studied um, the life of Joseph And Joseph was a man who had 11 brothers and he was the favorite among the, he was the favorite among his father's children. So Joseph had one biological brother. I think it was Benjamin, but okay. So anyway, Joseph had one biological brother and that biological brother liked Joseph, but the others didn't. So, and he wasn't liked because his father loved Joseph's mother very much. And so when, um, when Joseph's mother died, Joseph, or yeah, when Joseph's mother died, Joseph's father kind of cling to Joseph as a memory and as a, um, just something that felt really good to, to lean on and to be, um, connected to or someone. And so that favoritism made his brothers jealous. And if you guys don't know that favoritism led to, Joseph's father, Jacob, giving Joseph a technicolor dream coat, as it were, a multicolored coat. And so what happened was his brothers were like, well, you know what? We should get rid of Joseph. We should get rid of Joseph. And they were thinking of killing him, but... Then they had the Weisen, the Weisenheimer idea of, hey, let's sell him, let's sell him and make a profit. So they sold him to some slave traders, and made a profit off of their brother. But when they sold, when they sold Joseph to the slave traders, they had no idea that, they had no idea that the events were going to take place that took place. So what happened was Joseph was sold to Potiphar. Potiphar was one of the most powerful men and the most powerful men in the world at that time. And he had, um, so you, Joseph went to go live in Potiphar. Potiphar's palace and Potiphar had a very beautiful wife and we'll just call her Mrs. Potiphar because we don't know her name. So Mrs. Potiphar was very beautiful and she wanted to sleep with Joseph. And so she kept propositioning him and beckoning him to sleep with her. And so on the day that he on the final day that he would not take the bait and he would not sleep with her, he ran because she propositioned him one one more time in her bedroom. And so he ran and she held on to his cloak and had a piece of his cloak in her hand. And so she screamed as if he um, she had been attacked. And when Joseph was found, he was thrown into prison. But what had happened and what had happened also to make, um, to make his brothers jealous and, um, what had happened also to make his brothers jealous and to, make them and uh, fearful of him in a way was that Joseph had the gift of interpreting dreams. 
So, Joseph interpreted a dream of his brothers, one of his brothers, and said that um, your dream means that you will somehow bow down to me in the future. And so, when Joseph was, after Joseph had been thrown in jail, he was brought back out of jail because Potiphar had a dream. His master, Potiphar, had a dream. And he wanted to know what the dream meant. And what the dream meant was that he, um, that the land was going to go into seven years of famine after seven years of being fruitful. So, or maybe it was vice versa. I'm, I'm really not sure. But, um, Joseph ultimately ends up being Potiphar's second in command because he has these gifts. And so what we learn from this message is that, number one, we learn that God was always with Joseph because this the title of this message, I should say offhand, is Where Was God When Life Was Not Fair? Okay, so God was with Joseph. Number two, God was giving Joseph options. We all have options on how to ha- how to handle certain situations. Life is going to throw a lot of things at us where we will want to be our worst selves. But we can choose to be, quote unquote, and I I know that this might sound cheesy, but we could choose to be our best selves. And I think that God knows that he did not create robots. So he actually gives us choices. What do we want to do in that moment? And number three, God was using what was meant for evil to bring about good. God used Joseph in jail and in the palace in order, in order, excuse me, in order to bring about good. So that is what I want, want you guys to take away today. And I'm sorry that I've gotten so tongue tied on this video. Um, I hope all is going well and you're having a beautiful blessed day. If you would like, please like and share this video and I will talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye.